I'm sorry, I don't know who asked it, but somebody wanted to know how big their dipole should be. In fact, it was for 11 metres, you know, CB band. But it got me thinking, and because there's a really easy way out of this. Um, the dipole is half the size of the wavelength that we're interested in. Uh, and I'm about to show you how to convert from wavelength to frequency and frequency to wavelength. But in fact, right, I mean, I was going to sort of, well, before we start, let's get this microphone over here. Before we start, let's uh, just understand how the hell we build an iPod to start with, okay? So we've got a piece of wire, you know, however long it is, which we cut into two. Then we've got some coax, okay? This is this. I mean, this isn't the scale particularly, right? But you've got the braid on the outside, and then the center conductor in the middle. Yeah. So dipole effectively goes there. It doesn't matter which side. It really doesn't. And on the braid, we effectively connect it to there. All right. We end up with. I mean, we do it a little bit neater than this, but fundamentally, that's how it works. Okay. So that is dipole. I'm not going to go into how it works. There's a really interesting uh, in Wikipedia. Uh, it genuinely got quite neat. I mean, it's a load of maths, right? Which, frankly, even to me, is a little bit like Greek. But um, nice little graph here and explanation of how it works, if you're interested. Now, if you're in America or one of the other two countries in the world that are still imperial, just bear in mind that ham radio is like a science hobby. It'd be so much easier to convert your thinking into metric, OK? So I'm going to do this in metric. Now, let's do a bit of mathematical trickery. So first of all, we need to know the speed of light. So if we're going to do this in metric, we're going to do this in kilometers and meters. So the speed of light is actually 300,000 kilometers per second. Now we've got meter reading here. I've just done a search on, on Google here. It's, the meters is 299792458 meters, Not meters. So if I've now got a frequency of, let's say, 27.35 megahertz, 27.35 million hertz, megahertz, megahertz, then that's 27. Mm, 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 mm. So how many of them right, fit inside this? That's all we're going to do. Well, we can drop all the zeros off. 300 divided by 27.35 megahertz. Yeah, so wavelength. Wavelength is 10, whoops, 10.969, whatever. Okay. Back to the dipole. Let's take a dipole for, well, we'll use this one. 10.9689968. Okay, 10.969. If we divide that by 2, right, which I'll do now, equals 5.4. 8448 will do. 5.48 meters. That is going to be the size of our of our dipole here. Right? It's the whole length is going to be 5.48 meters. It's the total length. So you need that divide that by two again. Each leg is 2.74. So each leg 2.74. There's a bit of trickery at the end here. Hang on. So we'll just do another one very briefly. Let's pick any frequency. 40 meter band. All right, let's do. If you can hear people walking around upstairs. Let's go there's people walking around upstairs. 40 meter band. So 300 divided by, let's say, 7.2 megahertz. So the wavelength is 41.66. Divide by 2. Our total length of dipole should be 20.83. There's one fly in the ointment, as they used to say in the old days, which is all wire has something called a velocity factor. And uh, basically the electrons don't move down it at 100% speed. OK, so as a rough rule of, of rough, a rough rule, a rough rule of thumb. There we go. I knew there was a word for it. Rough rule of thumb is you take your calculation, whatever it is. Do you remember we got... Uh, 5.48 which equaled 2.74 i'll just do this 2.74 you multiply it by 0.95 you end up with 2.6 2.6 meters each side you're going to be not far off and by the way we can show you something else 
M0, MCX, that's my call sign, SWR Calculator. I've done a little calculator for you, and this is in uh, Excel. Somebody kindly made a JavaScript, JavaScript, JavaScript version. This will never get it working for some reason, but never mind. Enable editing. All you need to do, the difference, whoa, the difference between 27.4 and 27.3 is 0.93 of a centimetre, basically. Oh. This, what this does, if you've got an antenna which is resonant on 7.15, but you actually want it on 7.25, it'll tell you to cut 13.46 centimetres off it. How long is my how long should my dipole be? Oh, well, sorry, a bit convoluted. I just wanted to explain everything. Uh, next video is coming up here. Have a jolly good day. Thanks for tuning in. Bye for now. I don't have to make things blooming complicated sometimes. <laughs>